Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are not subscribed yet, down below, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because it helps us out a lot. I have a fun video today and I just, it's something that I just practiced, so I was like thinking while I was working out, like I just need to turn on the camera and film this video really quick because I think it could help out a lot of you, just like it helps me out. Today's video is five things that are tangible that you can do at home to get you motivated to work out. Meaning that, just like me, if you are in a workout rut right now you can't find the motivation to work out at home it's like so hard now with gyms still closed i don't have weights at home the only weights that i do have i mean i have some bands but i just have these little weights i will put these weights on my ankles and even if i'm doing the smallest thing if i'm doing high knees and just doing this i'll put these on my ankles and then i feel it so much more so it's so much easier to just have a little weight. If you wear two of these, you're gonna have five pounds, so you can always double up and wear these on your arms. If you're doing something with like abs, I always love using these. I don't know about you guys, I'm very huge on leaning out my body, so I don't really like to use a lot of weights that are heavy. That's just my personal preference. I know a lot of people like to weight train. I think weight training is great. It's just not for me because my body gets bigger and I just don't like personally the way that it makes me look. If you are like me and you just like to do quick workouts that are like toning, they lean you out, this is the things that I do in order to get in the mood. And I think all of these things are equally as important. This is like no specific order. I've been in such a like a workout funk. I've posted it on my Instagram a couple of days ago and I asked you guys what you do. So I'll share those responses also. But I just want to share what I do personally at home. And this is different if you're at a gym. I don't have a gym. Our gym is closed at our apartment. So what I've been doing is number one thing, number one thing, you're starting to think about wanting to work out and you're like sitting there, you're like, mm, I don't want to. Just go pour yourself a coffee or open up a Celsius or take some pre-workout. It is so easy to do this step. You guys don't even understand the amount of times that I have not wanted to work out, but I will literally go to the fridge, open up a dang Celsius and be like, okay, I already opened this thing up, already gotten the energy, so I might as well make myself work out. Just because I opened the Celsius or I took some pre-workout. This is the pre-workout that I use if I do use pre-workout. It's the blueberry acai flavor. I don't really have that much right now, but it's either I take some of that or I open up a Celsius that always gets me in the mood to work out. And then right after I do that, thing number two that I do is I go on and turn in some music. If you don't have a speaker at home, you guys are missing out because it is so much easier to work out and get in the mood to work out if you turn on some music that you love. I have a Spotify playlist called Get Your Ass Up and Work Out. Every time I see that playlist, I'm like, ugh, okay, fine, I have to work out. So I'll turn on that playlist and I will sit my Celsius, I blast the music and get ready to get into that workout mindset. So yeah, those are two steps that I do right before I'm about to work out. Those automatically are like, okay, I'm gonna work out today. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do it. Thing number three that I do, um, I take out my weights. Like these are the weights that I use and I pick my workout. You always kind of have to know what you're gonna do. If you're just gonna make up your workout on the spot, you're probably not gonna be as motivated and you're gonna be like, okay, what do I do next? What do I wanna do? And then you're not gonna push yourself. If you have a workout that you love to do, so if you like hit, then I suggest finding a video. 
I'm not huge on videos. The way that I started my fitness journey was doing at-home workouts and videos. I love 21 Day Fix and Beachbody. Those are amazing. They now have like so many 21 Day Fixes. They have the 21 Day Fix Extreme, the 21 Day Fix Real Time. There's always so many video workouts and they're only 30 minutes. And that's what I love is that you knock out your workout in 30 minutes like this and you get that sweat on and it, you never regret working out. So. I personally lately have been loving Sarah's Day's ebook. She has a bunch of different workouts. She has two ebooks. The first ebook requires no weights, the second one requires weights. So I do the first one and then she'll have different challenges. So I'll even do a quick challenge that I uh, find on there. And I'm like, oh sweet, I didn't wanna work out, but I'm just gonna do this quick little challenge. It's not even about how you look, it's literally about your mind. You're like, oh, I just did this. I'm gonna have a better day. You just feel so much better. You don't feel guilty when you're eating. Just throughout your day, you just feel so much better. So that's what I've been loving. The reason why I love it is because I'm still able to listen to music in the background. With the 21 Day Fix videos, they are so helpful. They're only 30 minutes long. If you like a coach kind of to be saying things and you know motivating you, and other people to be doing the workout at the same time, I highly recommend video workouts, Beachbody. But if you're like me right now, I am always in the mood to just turn on my own music, my own playlist that I set for myself, and then I do her Sarah's Day's ebook workouts, and I use her app. Her app is a timer app, and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. The app is so helpful. It's 99 cents from the app store, only 99 cents. It's just so easy to use. There's only six options. You can do like a sweaty shredder, which is 30 second intervals that you do really fast repetitively. You can do toning power, which is one minute workouts, 10 minute blaster, which is 10 different exercises that you do in uh, one minute each. And then you can do a custom timer. I think that's my favorite option too. If I do wanna make up my own workouts or do someone else's workouts, I always do the custom timer and you can just set how many intervals, how many seconds, how many rounds. You just do everything yourself on this app and it will like ding, it'll be like ding when you're done, when your 30 seconds is up, when your one minute is up and you're still listening to your music in the background. I love, love, love that option. The other thing that I do is I make sure that it's warm at home. This is really weird and I feel like people would usually be like, no, make sure it's cold because you're gonna be sweating and whatever. If it's cold in my house, I always just want to get bundled up and just sit down and watch TV. I don't want to do anything. If it's warm in my house, I'm like, oh, jack it off. Let's work out. And then also it's kind of like a sauna. So when you do end up getting sweaty and you keep continuing to work out, you're sweating more because it's warmer in your house. So that's, that's something I always do. I make sure it's warm in my house because I love the extra sweat. And then the last thing that I highly, highly, highly recommend doing is having a good pair of at-home shoes. If you have like a workout shoe that you love and you always wear to work out at the gym, I don't recommend wearing that inside just because you're probably not going to feel as comfortable and able to do anything around the house and just jump around and dance around, you know? But if you have your, you have your designated workout at home shoe, like I do, it's clean, I know it's clean, I don't feel guilty wearing it, then I always just put it on and I'm like, okay, this is my at home workout shoe. If I have these babies on, I know that I'm about to get some burn on. So that is my last tip. Make sure you have some clean shoes to wear around the house that you can work out in when you put those babies on. When you get your Celsius popped open, you get your workout figured out and you turn on that playlist, you are ready to work out and burn some calories in 30 minutes, in 45 minutes, maybe keep going, you know, do an extra challenge or something. Basically, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video just as much as I did filming it. If you guys have any questions, as always, comment down below or message me on my Instagram. It's right here. I love you guys so much. Like I said, make sure that you subscribe and stay updated with our videos. We love you so much. God is good. Mm -hmm.